Bert Cox, Kyle Leuven. Je m'appelle Omin Luan et j'étudie à l'ISIB. Je m'appelle Nathan Quinteiro, je suis un élève de la HSSO à Sion, en Suisse. Je consists of two bracelets, one for the baby and one for the parents. Uh, the baby bracelet uh, collects data through four sensors and if the, uh, if the baby triggers an action, so the heartbeat is too high or the temperature is too high, it sends a signal to the bracelet of the parents. We're making a connected shoes with integrated uh, sensors just like pressure sensor, accelerometers and um, this will help um, the caretakers, relatives or doctors follow the movement habits of elderly people. So this will help um, decide and see if the elderly people, person, is actually walking enough or just staying in bed or just in the chair or something like that and help them move a little bit more. So we are actually developing a device that is put on your back in the morning and it will collect all the data of your movement from all the day and then you can just connect to a smartphone or tablet and get all the information back and it will show you the graphics of what you did all the day and it will give you advice about what you're doing wrong, what you're doing good and uh, it will help you to, to improve uh, the quality of your, of your movement every day. Our team is building a smart device it's actually a smart watch device that's connected with the uh, smart pills pill dispenser so we're building actually a device for people that used to forget when they have to take a pill they usually carry their device their watch always with them with them and also the portable pill dispenser is also very small so it can be also put in the bag um, carried with wherever, wherever they, they go 
we're making a bracelet with a LED and a vibrator in it. Um, so patients can go to a hospital and have, for, for example, a coffee or go to the cafeteria. And when it's their turn, the bracelet will vibrate and they will shine a LED. So they can go to, the, to their doctor's room on their own and are comfortable in the waiting room. With the bracelet there is a QR code and an RFID tag. Um, the information is first put on the QR code and then later in the hospital put on the bracelet so the doctors know who the patients are. It's very lightweighted and comfortable. You can use it for several days. <laughs> yeah, it could also hold uh, fluids like syrups and it could be cool if necessary. Uh, the next thing we use is um, people can walk freely in the, in the, in the hospital. Uh, all you have to do is write some basic information about the appointment and after paying for it, you receive a QR code. Also, as you can see on the left side, we put a small illustration of it. It measures the detection of limp walking. As you can see, the data is uh, real time. <laughs> and we also thought of the future project. We will implement the bracelet with the other people. It's also interesting to work with people from other orientation because uh, I'm an embedded system guy and I have to work with a designer and two people from uh, electronics. We have different skills but we learn from each other. And I think the experience is interesting because um, we can see a sample of how we will work, I hope, in the future in the profession professional way. If they organize it next year for us, I will certainly go again to the project. When I came to my group, uh, we really bonded together and we really became great friends. But now I've worked a few days with the new equipment and the new things I learned. I think it's had been a huge experience. If you have the chance to attend uh, that kind of program, you really should. 